Okay, this video is a follow-up video on this LG 24M38H. Now, here's the monitor, and my initial video said this is a good monitor because of the low profile, and I don't really have any problems with this monitor. However, upon trying to install this on the wall, because that was the purpose why I bought it, I've hit a snag. For example, let me describe this snag. Now here is a bracket, it's a versatile bracket because it allows you many sizes. Uh, so if I put the bracket there, now I, I understand that this bracket is more for a TV, but nevertheless, it's not in the way of the uh, connections here. I've got other smaller brackets, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show you a fundamental fail. If we look at the profile, now let me get uh, down to that level. If you down on this level, you can see it. Now, that's where the wall would be because ideally you don't want a bracket that is far away from the, the wall. So what had happened is the bracket would sit there and ideally the, the, the wall part would have maybe a centimeter. Okay, so that means that you're just a centimeter from the wall. But here's where the fail is. Now you want to plug in your HDMI. Look at that. So that means that if you have a visa bracket, now I, I already said that I know this isn't the standard size, but the thickness of the bracket is correct. This is the correct thickness. Now look at that. You can see that this is a fundamental fail. And if I come with a VGA, which is very common, especially for people who do uh, security systems and they're using uh, analog uh, cameras and so forth, or just a, a, a DVR, look at that. Now look how that stands out, which actually stops you from installing this monitor on the wall. Now that is actually a fail, in my opinion. Yes, I know you can get the gen gender corner where you can actually, um, it bends, it's like an elbow. But why do I have to get extra things? Why can't I just install the monitor as is? For example, I've got this old Samsung here. And I'll just show you. This is a, an old Samsung, and what you can see is that's where the visa bracket would be. Okay, so you're going to put the bracket there. But the point is, is that if you're going to plug it in, all the plugs are... See, the plugs going this way. So they, they can be fed neatly out of the way, whereas this LG is not allowing me to do that. So if I show you a monitor on the wall, you can see here I have two monitors on the wall. Now, I, I was trying to put the LG over there, but it was impossible because the distance, uh, the gap that was required on the bracket, you see, the LG required too much because of the connecting, the wires. So this was actually for me a fail, which meant I cannot actually use this LG monitor as a as a monitor or as a, as a security display as you can see these monitors are on the wall here so the monitor on the top happens to be a Philips also with a, a good design where the the uh, cabling goes this way and not that way into the back and if you can see it's literally one and a half centimeters from the wall but if I wanted to use the LG it's not possible or there's something wrong with me that I can't understand how else you could put this flush on the wall and it makes no sense to me because the whole point of why I like this monitor is it's got such a narrow profile which means it can go so neatly on the wall but you can't and there is the DC power plug but the DC power plug is not really in the way it only comes up about that much so that means if you are going to use this as a excuse this paper sorry if you are going to use this as a monitor that is going to be installed on a wall, you're going to have to rethink this whole uh, um, story here. If you're going to be using HDMI, you're going to need an elbow or you're going to have to get a bracket that comes with very long spaces. So a lot of these um, brackets do come with some washers, but a washer isn't going to cut it. You're literally going to have to put... 20 mil spaces here and then you're going to have to go and find yourself extra long screws or you're going to have to put this on the wall and you're going to have to put 
almost like what I do is I, put, you know, I have to put some nuts, some big like 10 mil nuts, two 10 mil nuts. So overall, this unfortunately is not a monitor I can give a thumbs up to. This is, in my opinion, a fail. What should have happened? That should have gone, this should have been a little bit higher up. That should have been plugging in there or at least going sideways. That one there and maybe that one going that side so that it would not bother this profile. And also you can see, sorry, you can also see this guy. I don't know if it can, yeah, I see he's also in the way. Um, I'm sure you could probably unscrew him, but it's more work and it's not ready to go, if you know what I mean. You wanna, you wanna uh, buy the monitor, just install it. You don't wanna fight with odd fittings here. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope this is informative for you and I hope this does uh, help you in that uh, you'll have to rethink if you wanna buy this monitor. You might have to go with the traditional design where you put the connectors. I had to resort to some old monitors and obviously this is now just a desk top monitor which just happens to have a visa bracket yes if you're going to put it on an, uh, an extension arm then it's still fine but if you're going to put this flush on the wall good luck with that it's not going to be very easy i hope this has been informative and thanks for watching cheers